was going to bring in a couple of friends today to help co-host the show with me. It's the Property Brothers! Yeah. Drew, we love you. Uh, every time you come here, they faint. <laughs> They're can losing it. Screaming Heads people explode. Every time I come into my house, this is exciting. <laughs> yeah, you walk into your house and scream. How can it get any it's bigger than nice. that? I think we need to leave. That's it's not going to get any better than that. Yeah, either. just get out. Yeah. It's never going to get better. So you know, you guys have uh, been together since birth, literally. You know everything about each other. <laughs> I have the butt print from the womb to prove it. Yeah, right here. Right. That's why he wears the puffy hair and hides it. Yeah. <laughs> We had each of you come up with questions uh, for the other one because there's some information that uh, we think that people need to know about you. So a little bit later, we're going to put you guys to a DIY challenge that I've told you nothing about. Oh, okay. So be a little bit afraid. Uh, there, uh -oh. a, there are stakes here, though, because keep in mind the last we've done probably three DIY segments over the last few years on on TV, and yeah. Drew has lost every single one of them. Awesome. I, I'm so. trying to let Jonathan feel good about himself. <laughs> you know, you got to let him win sometimes. He told me I'm more down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. we'll We'll see who's going down. Uh, first, the, this question is for Drew. Okay, this is from Jonathan. Okay. How many ties, socks, and shoes do you own? <laughs> Uh, one, two, do you two, tell? A thousand ties. Um, my girlfriend gets this much of the closet. I get all the rest. You're um, one of those. I have. How many, how many shoes? Uh, oh, you've got like 800 pairs of I shoes. I think I have like 180 pairs of shoes. That's, yeah. that's. But I wear them all. Wow. In how 10 you, minutes, how do you wow. wear 180 pairs of shoes? That, like, you can you, wear 180 pairs of shoes, right? Over yes. what time period? You can wear 180 You're pairs of shoes. You're talking to the wrong two people here right now. <laughs> Let's get to the fact. How, how long of a time period are you talking here? 180. How, how well, long does it take? You know, I, I do. I donate some that I'm not using uh, as there much anymore. But I, I had. Who saw the show we did, Property Brothers at Home? Anybody see the renovation yeah. that we did? Yeah. So we renovated the house. But just as soon as that work was all done, I said to Jonathan, "Great, great big renovation of the whole house. I have one more project." I blew out the back wall of my, my closet and I extended it because the tandem garage was there. I took 17 feet from the garage and added it to my closet. Yes. It's awesome. Yes. See, people wouldn't do that, yes. right? I have four pairs of shoes do. to my name and <laughs> two pairs of boots. And okay, that's well, it. this question is for you, uh, Jonathan. The first time you met your girlfriend, what was it about her that made you know that she was the one? Who knew that he's actually dating now? I bet you guys I didn't, didn't know, know that. that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know um, that. They're not happy about it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> They're like this. Oh. Uh, it, it's a girlfriend. Um, I would great. say great buns. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. That's not what it was. Uh, you can be honest I, here. No, so I actually, we met at a charity event, and I, I didn't even, I didn't know who she was. I didn't know anything, but I saw her laughing with, she was talking to some people that I knew across the room, yeah. and it was 100% her laugh that. Uh, it was the snorty, oh. the snorty yeah. laugh, right? Well, it's a real, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So. I think that's the sweetest thing, because a lot of people, don't think that a guy is listening for something like a joyful laugh. They right. think a guy is looking at their buns, right? Well, yeah, or it's going to be shameful. Well, <laughs> that was good too. Well, you know, you know, but that's it's, beautiful. And we, we get along really well. So our older brother JD and his girlfriend Lee, Linda, my girlfriend, and myself, and us, we all just we've done a trip together. We work together, nice. and so it's nice to. He has to get the twin approval. That's right. If he's dating anybody, he needs yeah. the twin approval, and I approve. I will admit, there's one thing that's kind of kind of cute and sweet for me that I, like, I enjoy is now whenever we're at another party or even during TIFF, we're you know going to parties and stuff. Whenever I see her laughing in the crowd, it reminds me of when we first met. So, oh my cool. gosh! Who wants to <laughs> throw okay? up a little? Uh, Drew's, Drew's yeah. just yeah. thinking. I should have thought of that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. This is a this is a question for Drew now. How many hours do you spend weekly at a spa, golf course, or <laughs> ping pong club? Oh, come on. <laughs> you Are know, you a spa guy? I, I, I do like my mani pedis. I mean, who can argue? <laughs> Even though you're doing, some, I mean, if you watch Brother vs. Brother, and we have our, our new show coming in a couple of months, uh, Brothers Take New Orleans. Uh, I'm hands in. Oh, that's as cool. much as Jonathan, I'm in there doing the dirty work. This is the lightning round. You, you, you need a facial so, every once in a while. Every, every week, and you know, I golf. I, I, I do lessons as well a couple times a week. So I want to do golf lessons. It's where all the action happens I'll on the you. on the on the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lessons, teach me. By the way. Okay, here's one. Uh, show the first magic trick you ever learned. I've, I happen to have. Oh, this. oh, oh my goodness. Well, here I'll do a coin because we probably don't have enough to do a full card trick. This yeah. is one of the first things I ever learned. And who, who, we're coming in. We're coming in for the close-up here. All right. If you keep your eye on the coins, it's very easy to make it just disappear like that. But if you're not paying attention, here, oh. I'll do it one more time. Watch closely here. This is how it happens. How fast? Got, same thing here. You have to keep your eye on Never trust a magician. So that's the first trick I ever What do you guys think of that one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's my manager. He gets a cut of yeah. everything I steal. Yeah. Okay, here's one. Uh, a 
of Jonathan's dogs, which do you prefer, Gracie or Stewie? Oh, oh my gosh, this is going to be in trouble. Which one <laughs> of his babies okay. do you like if, the if most? You, if you guys have seen pictures on social media, oh. Stewie is the cutest thing ever. He, but he is hyper. Like that dog is, he'll, he actually runs up and he, he'll bat Gracie across the face and run away. <laughs> Same way I do that to Yeah, he does it to me. I, I would say I love them both, but I think Gracie is adorable because she's cute. She'll just sit there. She's this little chubby chihuahua. What yeah. a horrible but she just dog sits uncle. There. What a terrible she dog. She sits dog there and just watches everything happen. Look at those faces. Wise. Look at those faces. Yeah. I thought They're you, adorable. I thought you were going to say there's no way I could the, pick a favorite. No, no, I'm like a parent. I will tell you my favorite child. It's okay. <laughs> no. The same way my mom also picked and said I was her yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're both great, they're, and it's it's like a if you were thinking like a movie like Dumb and Dumber, like yeah. the, the two of them with each other, the very different personalities. You're digging your hole deeper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like do you want to just maybe we should just stop talking about the dogs. I give them treats; they love me. Uh, as you know, Drew and Jonathan have been in town for TIFF. Uh, I've been partying with them all weekend. I'm surprised we even look awake right now. Um, and every year, they throw one of the best parties of the festival, okay? It's the producer's ball. This year, I, I thought it was the best year yet. Thank What'd you. you think? Because of the ping pong? Yeah. It was, was everything. It was the vibe. It was the beautiful art. It was the people. Like, I feel like you tightened up the list, but yeah. the people that were there, good dynamic crowd. It's a great dynamic crowd. And, I mean, we also have, uh, it's the It House by Producers yes. Ball, too. So we had six days of, of a spot for media and talent to just relax. And we had the media lounge there. So for the Fandango good. media lounge, everyone was coming for interviews. We had Caitlin Cronenberg shooting for W Magazine. So literally, yeah. it was a hub for every single and it's, celebrity. it's nice just to shine the light on the producers, too, because it's, you know, usually the directors and the actors that you hear, but the producers are the ones who actually make it happen. And we raised yep. a bunch of money for artists for peace and justice as we well. We want to actually 